Listen, I'm, I'm here with some Collect Direct friends uh, that just attended the conference. We're at the warehouse, one of the three. Uh, Dave's taken us through and shown us some things, but I think it's important to all of you that are here. Uh, it's fun. We're going to do this tour. But Dave, Dave, tell us a little bit how this coin side of the thing is and what your plan is or as you load coins now. Well, real simple is, um, you know, I've got a massive collection of Morgan and Peace dollars, half dollars, uh, Franklin half dollars, um, Barber dollars. I mean, thousands of them. And they're just sitting in vaults and I've got to, I'm taking them out now. But I'm just giving an example like we did yesterday at the event. Um, we're gonna, we, have a, we have an employee named Nick who's blind. He's a great employee. He's been with me for six years. And I came up with this idea through him because he was sorting cards. And how does a blind guy sort cards? No, he wasn't sorting cards. He was counting packs and putting them in the card pack. My little brother comes to me and comes out to my house and he's looking at some of my barber dollars and Morgan dollars and, um, and looking at him and he says, he says, Davey, there, there's so many coins in here that are worth $300 and $500 instead of just an ounce of silver. And I said, well, what's your point? He goes, well, the point is you need to get them all out of there. I said, well, no, I'm not. I said, one day I'm gonna package these so everybody has a chance to get something. So to give you just a simple idea, I'm gonna use this here because I'm not at one of my vaults. So I got right here, I got five um, half dollars of John F. Kennedy. And some of them are not silver and some of them are silver. So the theory we're gonna have is with this type of coin, we would have two of these inserted in an envelope by Nick, who's blind. And so you take it, you put it in the bag and you take it up. And I'm blind, I'm like, I'm, now I'm being Nick. So I'm not looking at them. And I'm gonna take out one coin, two coin, and I'm gonna take out, now watch this, I'm gonna take out one coin, two coin, I don't know what's in them. Now I'm gonna stop and now I'm gonna look at them. So now I'm not blind. Okay, this pack right here, there's no silver coin in it. That's one pack, you get two half dollars, and there's your half dollars, they're worth, they're worth the uncirculated value. And you look at this pack right here, and oh boy, both silver dollars wound up in one pack. You see that? Now, picture somebody blind packaging coins that are worth money. Here he go. I could do this and guarantee the value and say, here, here's one of each. Or wouldn't it be funner to have two and one? Yeah. That's my point with what Nick's gonna do with Morgan dollars and peace dollars to start with. We're hopefully gonna have that in the next week. Peace dollars and Morgan dollars on the site where you can randomly buy them. You can either buy them in one or you can buy them in two. One for, we don't know yet, $49.95, two for, for uh, $99.95. We don't know yet. One for $59.95, two for $99.98. I don't, I don't know what we're gonna go that route yet, but this is how we're gonna do it. I have so many of these coins and we're gonna reissue re them back in the pack I was gonna do dimes, I'm not gonna put thousands of them on there singly, because I just don't wanna do dimes, but I'm gonna do half dollars, Morgan dollars, peace dollars, um, and, and uh, John F. Kennedy dollars, stuff like that, so people can just go crazy. And it's, they're it's guaranteed- fun. Uh, It's kinda like your own redemption certificate inside the coin part of our collectible business, isn't yeah, it? But I can't guarantee them what's in there because a blind guy put them in there. Yeah. I can just guarantee them what they could get in there. And I can guarantee them what's in there. I mean, I can say, hey, when we package these, I know this many are in there. That's the cool part about doing it. Wow, that's yeah. exciting. Amazing, isn't it? You get two yeah. coins that are actually worth a lot more than two. Here, like I did when you were, when I wasn't looking, here's, here's two studs, and here's two, not duds, but coins that are worth what you paid for. Right. But you got these because you got lucky. Right. It's just like opening a pack of cards. So explain that. Redemption certificate cards. I know we kind of covered that on stage yesterday, but they, the, on the first day you had uh, your, your friends, the athletes, standing there opening up packs. Yeah. And you didn't, they didn't know what was in there, and you, you were going to give them, if they got a Gretzky or if they yeah. got a Jordan, that was theirs because that was your commitment to that moment. Yes. Right? Yes. And you're planning on doing that for all of Collectrack Worldwide on podcasts as we go forward to drive traffic yeah. and leads yes. and share you those leads. Those coins too. You gotta remember, these are rolls of coins here that were rolled and you can find uh, silver steel pennies, you can find 1914 Ds, you can find, you, you know, this little penny roll is all Wheaties, it's guaranteed all wheat bags. Now, I don't know where I got these from, but I cracked a couple just to see what was in them and I got these little bags right here of me cracking them and there are every one of the pennies, every one of the pennies in there is a wheat penny. Wow. Here's one of the rolls I opened right here. And every single penny in that roll was a wheat penny. 
they're, they're 19, 1940, 1930. Wow. So I'm going to sell these on Collect Direct. These rolls are going to be on Collect Direct where you can literally buy them. And, you know, when you buy them online, you don't know, you know, they're just rolling them up and saying, here, you get this, you get the 50s. Mm -hmm. But in mine, you got a chance at the 1900s, like the a 1910, a 1912. Mm -hmm. And there's your roll. And that roll on Collect Direct will be fourteen dollars and ninety eight cents. Wow! Wow! wow. You, Dave, you're amazing. I mean, you're you're giving people a chance to to see a golden ticket. You just never know. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. I, I feel like that's like turning everybody into a kid again. It is, and that's why we're bringing the past to your future, Lily. Right? It is like turning everybody into a kid, and that, that's for me just to say is like I don't know nothing about collectible, but it's just the excitement of like not knowing what you're gonna get and right. then the surprises to be in it. That's just amazing. It is. It is. I'm excited. Well, it's like lots of people say, "Well, it's about sports cards." Dave, <laughs> sports cards is a part of it, but you have. It ain't sports cards. It, it, sports cards is a piece of it. Yeah. So I'm opening up this little pack right here, and this is a 1909 VDB. Now this type of a penny could be in one of those little packets there, and this one's in the case. It goes in this little box because it's one of the. It's not an S VDB, but it's a VDB. Very rare. On the back of the penny, it says VDB on the back. And it says 50 cents with a question mark. See that? <laughs> no. That penny's worth a lot more than 50 cents with a question mark. And like I said, this is the type of stuff that we're going to try to bring back the pack type of play with coins. They do it with cards. Why can't we do it with coins? That's what Beautiful. We're gonna do. Yeah. Amazing. Then we're going to do it with other collectibles, too, that are really cool. Pokemon, you name it. We got the repacks. We got the different things we're going to repack. And people will have a chance at getting a thousand dollar Pokemon card. So when this first started, and we first started with together and, and working together to help and work, and, you know, just my thoughts thrown into your vision, and we came up with a, you know, just this conference that you did finally this weekend. Um, is that the only conference you're planning on doing, or dude, we're not picking dates right now? No. But are you excited about where we're going for conferences? Yeah, no, this conference here, I call it a B plus. I think it was okay, but for the for the for the launch, I call it a D because you know. I wanted 10 athletes at it. We had two. We had one on live stream. Um, next conference, I'll probably have 20 athletes at it. And, and, and excitement with 1,000 people, not, you know, 100 plus. My whole thing is this, that this is just a, it's got to be staged. I know you want to grow really fast. No, no, no. I love what you're doing for growth right now because we're, we're working on all the bugs and staging. I love it. And the only person losing on that stage is me. I get it. Because I'm losing on, on funding and all. And putting it out there because I want no partners. I have 10 people that would partner with me in this right now. Mm -hmm. Me and Joyce are funding it all ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You know, listen, when you did your other company, no names, nothing, it was 106 people at the first conference Nancy and I attended in, in 2015, same month. Mm -hmm. You had more than that here, and you did $400 million in eight years. And now you've gone into a category creator product and company that has never been done before with all this paid for debt free inventory that you're bringing to the world. Everybody's emotions are connecting from the past. They're bringing it to the future. Many of you hadn't had a chance to see Nancy's presentation about bringing the past to the future. It was incredible. That was the hook, wasn't it, Dave? Like the, the fact that, as you just said, it's fun, but you're connecting this history, right? It really is. Dave, you're amazing, buddy. Yeah, and I just want to say, like, I was talking to a guy who deals coins, and I'm trying to get cases, certain packs, and he says, well, what do you got? I said, I got a couple pallets of coins. And he goes, well, you're full of crap. I said, well, come and see them, you know? Because seeing is believing with Collect Direct, and I've traded for years to accumulate stuff like this. These little these little quarters, like here, this is, is Jimmy Weiss here? No, he's, he's, he's on a plane now. These are, these are the little type of quarters that Jimmy Weiss was hanging out yesterday. They're really cool. Mm -hmm. But my brother comes up to me, with Jimmy Weiss handing out that one coin to what's his name, uh, the Say Hey Kid. That's what I call him. Yeah. And Joey says, Davey, you got eight rolls of that Georgia coin he's talking about. That's uncirculated, unopened, because my little brother knows my coin collection. I don't. He right. collects coins. I don't. But he told me I have eight rolls of 40. So that's 400 wow. of that coin yesterday, Don, that he handed out. I have 400 ungraded in tubes that are, that are in rolls, uncirculated. That we're going to actually grade and put in collect. And so as you add that to the website, we talk about the buckets, six buckets of numbers and volume to every item, from the cards to the coins to the NASCAR items to everything. How uh, is, is out there anybody can be assured that if they order it, they're going to get it? Have you got a control on the inventory? Let's talk about yeah. that for a second. Yeah, everything is inventory. So you look at this little coin right here. We pop this in a two-by-two. Two. We sell them for two ninety-eight dollars a piece. 
And just in this little roll right here, there's 40 coins. So that's 40 of one coin. Right. You see what I'm saying? So what happens to, to the inventory as it goes down then? What happens to your I system? People call me every other day to sell me more. No, no. I'm talking about the actual item that has 40 of them. Then you only have 40. Okay. Somebody says, I want it, I want it, I want it. And all of a sudden, all 40 are going to sell. Is there a... That's gone. Ah. So when, what, what's the, what's the fail safe? What have you done there? Yeah, that skew's gone. We list another skew. Oh, so okay. the whole thing is, you got to get it while it's hot. You got to get it while yeah, it's Because they're gone. Because they're gone. It's like a Michael Jordan rookie. Right now on the site, I think there's seven of them. There's seven Michael Jordan rookies on the Collector X site right now. And that's one of the hardest cards to find right now. And what's beautiful about it is, and this is to where I was going, you've got a, a computer code in there that says when you get down to the last one or two, you stop, it pulls off, and you keep that in case one somebody ordered wasn't maybe delivered or whatever you can back it up with an extra piece but you're securing your inventory by letting people know the confidence that if they order it they're going to get it on items like michael jordan rookies we're videoing it as it goes in an envelope we have records of all the anything over a thousand dollars going out of the warehouse is all on a video as we package it with the name so they're not going to not get a michael jordan rookie. they're going to sign for it they're going to get it and they're going to be happy they got it. So, this this video dave will be the word grading. So what does that mean? Like you have a grading? Like they actually graded to make sure what value and all this and that. Well, we're starting our own grading company, not okay, to do a video. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. We're starting our own grading company, and, and grading is all opinion. You know, it's, it's, and I believe we have the best opinion. And Dimitri Young's friend, uh, Jason, who you know introduced me, Dimitri introduced me to Jason. He owns ISA, so ISA is a big grading company, and we sell everything. We don't got just ISA. That's the smallest company we got. The biggest company we got is PSA. We sell more PSA cards than ISA, than BGS, than, hmm. than SGC. Those are names of grading companies. But, but, coins get graded too. Here's a graded Eisenhower. And we got hundreds of these that are going on the site. Hundreds of them. So you have to pay to get that graded though. Yes, but this I didn't pay for. I bought this in a collection. Okay. And then the back's got the hologram on it. Right. Keep it, you know, cleaned up. Wow. So, anyway. So, so, so what you're asking there about the grading is interesting. And you were saying you could go through that if we wanted to do this. We've done that kind of before, but for Lily, the, the question you're asking is, is the third party. So if you have a, an item and you get it from Collectrect and it's not graded yet, you don't know that, and it's random, you might have a card that is a 10, but you don't know that. Unless and, it's noted, Collectrect will never send out a VG card unless it's noted. Right. So... Most That's of the cards we send out are mint or better, near mint or better. So you can grade them and get a high grade if you send it in. And that would be at your cost. So you'd have to go to a yeah. grading company and they're gonna put they'll put it in what they call a slab. They'll put a grade and a certificate on it and all that sort of you have that option. It's yeah. an individual yeah. choice, right? It's your business, it's your inventory, it's your time capsule, it's your treasure chest, it's your choice. Right. But in Dave's world, he's doing that. And then they go on the, the site. They might be 29. They might be 59. They might be 119 randomly. Right. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him an example. So, folks, this live video is probably one of the best little teaching tools all of you are going to have on what you're seeing in Collectrec from the beginning stages that just launched. You're sitting. This is the this is this is Captain Kirk. This is this is where the, 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 the magic starts, Dave, right here in this seat. And I've seen you do this now for nine months. So this is Randall Cunningham. I bought all the overstock of Action Pack. Every one of these cards in this box are ungraded, right from the factory, sitting for years. Wow. Look at this. 24 karat gold. Oh wow. Randall Cunningham. Look wow. at the corners. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at the so look at the beautiful. pristine Ooh. mint cool. on that card, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that card in a PSA 10, this card right here worth about $300. And look at how many we have from the vault. Wow. It's just one player. We got Dion Sanders on this card. That card's worth $5,000 in a ticket. I got more oh. Dion than this one. Oh. And, and the thing is, you haven't graded them. We haven't graded any of them yet. 
We haven't graded any of them yet, but this is what Matt does all day. All Matt does is go through, grade them, sends them in, and look at, do you see a hair on that card? No. Do you see a flake of the gold missing? And that's what it's, that ultimately changes it from a five to a six yes. to a seven to yeah, an eight. Look at this. This has been oh. sitting. This has been sitting for 20 years, 30 years, wow. with a bag over it, plastic, no air, totally clean, totally mint, totally perfect. Wow. This is just one little box of 100,000 boxes like this. And folks, that's what we talk about mining. That's what his team is doing. They're mining for gold. They're mining for the tens. They're mining for the nines. And when your team sorts through this and they discover that it's got that kind of quality, then you send it to a third party, Dave. Yes. And that third party puts their ISA or PSA or SGV. SGC, SG ISA, BGS. And, and, then, and then that's that's the third party credibility. It's no different than all of you out there that are building your business. Don't be the only storyteller. Use somebody else to get out there and show them. Use our tools to build the business. But this is what the company's doing. Yeah, and this card here, we might put them in a top loader ourselves, put this card in the dugout for 10 bucks and they can grade it. And then when they get it back from PSA and it's worth a 10, she just got a $300 card for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, that's. Do this a lot. I know. And that's the dugout at nine ninety eight, folks, when you buy 10 items. That was the story we told you yesterday. Get the 10 items, yeah. give them away, share them, have fun, drive people to the website. And then if they want to get it graded, go ahead. It's their choice, right? You get it, Lily? Are you getting it? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, I, I'm just excited about it because to me, the, the beauty of it is, like I said, there's magic in not knowing. Like, so, so, so me, I'm like, oh my God. Like, like it's yeah. just so exciting because yeah, here's it's another, not knowing. There's another know? collection I just bought right here. Another collection I just bought. So it's all 1970s cards. It's 1970s, no one Ryan, but that one's not the 70s. But so look at some of these cards. You look at Johnny Bench, right? That wow. Johnny Bench got decent corners off center. That card would grade. Yeah. So when you mean off center, center, folks, so you understand center, it. Centering is off. Take a look at this. See, there's a bigger space on this side than this side. Yeah. Center, so that yeah. changes yeah. the grade of the card. Yes. That changes so the value card. of the card. That yeah. That card would grade yeah. about a six. But I'm trying to show you something that's nice. Something that's out of this stack of cards. So. I got this stack Man, Dave, how many cards have you touched like this in your life? <laughs> Mill millions, millions. Here's my, here's my old friend, Don Shimmick's business partner. Really? Jim Perry, yep, he's in there. Wow. Yep. See. And see, that's why there's only a one-off of things and a two-off of things and 10 available of the Mint Gem 10s, there's right? No Ryan. Now, would that be off-centered? By, by, that's that off-centered, yeah. I that see, okay. So that changes the value of that. Yeah, Huge, right? The value, yep. yeah. But I want to find one that looks good. Because they're always good ones. Here we go. This, oh, that one's got a joint down in the corner, but that's center. See, that's getting closer. Yeah. To your centering, but that's an error card. He's on the Texas Rangers, and it says the Blue Jays. That's actually a rare. That card. That, that card is worth more because it's an error. Yes. 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 <laughs> Crazy. Absolutely. What a fun business. Yep. And then you got yeah. here. We go. so I'm trying to this is why the collectible industry is going there's through there's the roof. Dan, there's Danny Ainge before he played basketball. Huh. That's wow. Playing for the Blue Jays. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So I'm just trying to find a centered card. Without a doink in it. So, I mean, you win. They're so tough. That one looks right dead middle. Well, that's a 59, too, but that's still got rough corners. That would grade at about a 5. Right. But so, But if that range. graded, okay, for example, that's a 5. Yep. What if it was a 10? That card of 10 would be worth uh, 400 bucks. Wow. Maybe and people maybe. are looking for the Rembrandt. They're looking for that perfect oh, no, piece no. that nobody else has, right? Yes. I'm just looking through. These are all new. I just bought this stack of cards. I just bought it. I'm just trying to find one that was. You now you can see how many you got to go through to get a ten. Yes, that's my point. You know, right? And so this is the mining you guys are doing. This is what Matt does all day, looking for tens. We're mining for nines. We're mining for tens. So far, no nines. So far, no tens. And I think I, in one of our videos we've done in the past, Matt complimented you on your ability. And by the way, this starts here, then goes to Matt, Matt does his thing, and then it goes to the third party. So I'm going to stop with this, and now I'm going to go to the packs that we opened at the event. Ah, do you have them here? I'm just going to give you an idea. Yeah. Hang on. Right hmm. I hope you all that are watching this video after, we will post it on our YouTube channel. Trust me, we will. Um, are getting a bigger picture of the Collectrec opportunity. I mean, customers, as uh, our good friend Dale said, are going to be the biggest part of our growth story because you're going to be able to point, click, and share with our pre-enroll system and everything else and the tools that are being made. But folks, everybody in the world wants something that somebody else doesn't have or they're attracted to what they grew up with because they want to bring back their past. That's what our story is all about. Here's the, here's the pack that I opened up on Stave. On Stave Lige, live. Okay, yep. Now look at, 
Look at, now I looked through them and I couldn't find anything that was sharp and crisp. Did you see that? Yep. That whole stack. Look at the crispness of that. Fresh out of the pack. Perfect. Look at that. Look at the, look at this. Look at the, look at the, look at the centering. Mm. These would these would grade eight. <clears throat> these would grade nine. Some of these would grade you know seven. But look at the centering. And then when I was on stage, you know, I got Larry Bird. And I'm sure people watching the live stream said he didn't get Larry Bird. He's saying he got Larry Bird. Okay, let's see where Larry Bird. Here's Julia Serving. I remember saying his name, George Gervin. And I let's see where is Larry Bird. Hang on. <laughs> uh oh. Back now, didn't you give that card oh, to? Larry Bird's right there. There he is. Uh, yeah. That's the Larry Bird I pulled on stage right. right there. I thought he. I said, "Wow, he's got to be in there." I saw him, but that's Larry Bird's rookie year. Can we and see it came that? out of our Can pack. We see the card? Yeah, yeah, it came out of our pack. Look at how mint those packs are. Oh, wow. Here, here's the wrapper wow. that they came out of. Here's the wrapper that they came out of right here. This was a very uh, tough wrapper, but that's the wrapper it came out of. And this is the the pack of cards. Julian Serving and Larry Bird. I don't think that pack was open and resealed because they would have kept Julia Serving. They would have kept George Gervin. They would have kept Larry Bird. They would have put three commons in there. No, these packs are real. Yes. Yeah, so so now I'm going to show you another one, Don. And that's the brand and the trust of Collectrek, Dave, right. and your experience. You're bringing your experience, yes. your team, to the world. So here's the one that Matt Williams opened up. Look at how crisp that wrapper is. Mm -hmm. It's right out of the box. And look you at the bubble gum. Right, too. The bubble gum, the bubble gum. That's 1979. Yeah, and don't eat the bubble gum, no, by the way. No, wait, 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 wait. Does your, oh, yeah, but you're not supposed to, right? No, no, you're not supposed to. And I told her she's not no more. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that gum. She loves the bubble gum. So look at the corners on this blue. This is Gretzky. Now look at how blue them are. Is that, well, that's not like, Gretzky, but that was no, a no, pack no, that could have had. rookie year. Yeah. If Gretzky comes out of here with a centering with those corners, it's a million dollar card, grade wow. 10. It just sold for 1.1 million. Wow. But look at how sharp these cards are. You cannot take cards like this and repack them. It's right. just impossible to get this look. And right that's here. when people talk about a box break. That's a box break. And we're going to be selling these packs online. There is a pack already offered on there. But look at it. Remember I said Tiger Waves? Look at that. Now that is very nicely centered. Look at the centering on that. It is. It's perfect. That card could be a nine. If that's a nine, that card's worth 100 bucks. If it's a 10, that card's worth about 400 bucks. And what everybody has to understand is they're not making any more of these. They're not making any more. We don't make, remake antiques, right? This is only so many, and the world expanding with collectibles, Dave. And that's why the collectible industry is going through the roof. Because once they're gone, they're gone. They could be all over the world, and there's none available. Look at the unstuck stickers that came out of that pack. It's Canadians crazy. beat my Jets last night. I was a little upset about look that. Look at here. So look at here. Here's the checklist. And look at the wax and the light. Look at the wax and the light from the yeah. pack, from that checklist. Yeah. That's the bottom card. But you flip it over, and there's no checks on it. Mm. See, it's oh, because yeah, because that's an original. And, and so, is it true that sometimes the checklist is worth more than the card? Yes. Now we're going to get to that. I said it on stage. So, and I'm going to look it up on eBay Live, show you what it is worth. Okay. So watch this. So here's here's Dimitri Young pulled Patrick Ewing's rookie card sticker, but it's so off center. Look at the centering on it. See, the centering on it is so off center that's still a hundred dollar card because wow. that's his rookie year. Mm -hmm. You see, now. He's going through the cards and look at the corners. Look at the corners on perfect. these cards. Yeah. They're perfect. You know, they're absolutely. What's the jammed. term to describe a corner that's off? Did you say tagged? What did you say? A what now? When your corner's a little bent, is it? What did you uh, say? Ding. Ding. So here's what he pulled for a checklist. This was the pristine card he pulled. I've got to check this card, but the first thing I've got to do is find some plastic to put it in because this is a very unbelievable card he found. I don't have any plastic, so I'm not going to touch this very much. But I'm going to go online and I'm going to look this card up center. Look at that. That is almost absolutely mm -hmm. perfect. A little bit from the wax right there, but that could be rubbed off with a nylon. A little piece of bit right there. But the centering on this card is pristine. Now, it is. I'm going perfect. to go on eBay. Yeah. I'm going to type an 86 checklist. Okay. And, and, and Dave, you're doing this all the time with things, right? You're, I'm doing it all the time. And so you're coming up with the average prices, and it doesn't yeah. matter at this point. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah, somebody yeah. says the price, okay, let's just say so you're typing in. So you're in 1986 flare. Hang on. I just want to see this number. Number 132 of 132. And I'm going to go with PSA blank. Let's see what that card's worth in PSA case. Okay, there it is in an eight for 199 bucks. 
Oh, now, now you don't look at that centering's off a little bit. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Here's one that's in a three VG for sixteen bucks. Here's one in a six. So, Dave, you might have that sixteen ninety nine checklist if it was that, that kind of in a nine ninety eight yes, dugout because yes. that's to show you that it could be there. Yes. But then yes. you're able to tell a story to drive yes. people to go buy the ten. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a nine for thirteen hundred bucks with forty bids. It ain't done yet. You see what I'm saying? Now my card stacks up to this card. The card that Dimitri pulled out of that pack. Look at. And when you compare my card to that card, look at Don. That card's got a little fuzz in the corner. You see it? Yeah. But look at mine. It's better. It's nicer. Wow. And he pulled this out of a fresh pack. Wow. Now watch. Now we'll check the back. Now there's a little spot on the back of this. But with a nylon, it'll come right off. And that's not centered, that There's one. There's a spot right here on the back that's from the wax. That'll come off. See that? I click on it. And look at it. Look at it. This one, is that, mine's actually centered better. This one's has got too much on this side. Yeah. Mine's so, centered. So yours is closer to a 10. It possibly could be. 10s of this card, I'm telling you, it's an unbelievable card. It's very hard to get. So there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to the chase, and I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click and go... 86, okay, hang on, I'm going to do that one more time, 1986, clear, there we go, 32, PSA, and I'm going to turn here, I'm going to go down here and click on that, let's see what's out there, okay, so I'm going to go with highest first, let's see what the highest one out there they're asking for, $5,600 for a 10, <laughs> right here, Don, <laughs> and that was in a package that you just randomly pulled, and you have hundreds and hundreds yes, of, yeah, 480 of these packs, but look at there's your 10. Now, look at the corners. A little white. They let you away with a little bit of it. See that? A little bit on the edge. And yours doesn't have any white. I, I believe I'm holding a 10, you know? The one I'm holding right now is a 10. And this one, just a tad off center. They let you go. But that's the education on grading, point. right? Yes. Look at the back. Wow. And this back's dead center. I mean, this is perfect. Got a little bit of a spot right here. See where this X is going? Yeah. A little tiny white blotch on there. Yeah. So if I blow it up, you really... See that little line? Yeah. Little circle? Yeah. That ain't on mine. See that? Yeah. And they give it a 10. I'm telling you, Collector Act, these packs are sealed. These packs are real. And I'm going to do one more before I'm done. So before we got started, I went to Matt and I showed him how to open a pack because he was going on stage to open one. So I did an 84. I did an 84 Tops football and the gum's already gone because I had to throw it in garbage. My wife wanted to chew it. It's from 1984. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the 84 pack. And now the two big cards are Dan Marino and John Elway in this pack. But the third card is Eric Dickerson, and the fourth card is Howie Long. Now, watch that. As I open this pack, or as he opened this pack, look at this Eric Dickerson. So He was a heck of a football player. Mm -hmm. Look Man. at the centering on Eric Dickerson. It That's really nice. is. Look at it that really centering. Is. It's oh, unbelievable. Wow. Corners are sharp. So it what really I'm going to do That's perfect. is now I'm going to go to eBay, and I'm going to see what that a 10 goes. Nice, yeah. for, now, this was pulled out of a practice pack, we call it. That pack's worth about 30 bucks, 40 bucks a pack. And I only did it so he could practice so he didn't mess up Gretzky because it was a pristine pack. So I'm going to show you what that's worth now. So now we go here and look at 1984 Eric Dickerson. PSA. Yeah, let's see what they asked for a 10. Twenty-five hundred bucks. Wow, no bidders yet. $30 no, no, no bidders yet. No, look at that card. So I'm showing you mine. There's theirs. Okay. So they're not, I'm going to see if they got one that's sold. Hang on. So that one's twenty-five hundred. It's not. It's not an easy card to get centered. Look at. There's not many on here. What impacts the centering? Here's a. Here's a nine. The, here's the a nine mint. It says looks perfect. Hang on. There's a nine mint that's got bids on it. Going up. I want to find out. Let's see. 896 25 here's a what's this one here graded seven there's a seven for 25 here's a here's a nine there's a nine with eight bids on it that's just getting started there's a nine with one bid on it that the opening bid was 54 but i think that 10 is worth around let's see here i think that 10 is worth around um i would say thousand bucks and i believe that card's either a nine or a ten because the centering is perfect so that's why when people look at cards, they, you never know truly what it would sell for or, or what people are willing to pay for it. But at the end of the day, there's only very few that are actually mint, gym, gem, 10s yes. in the world. 
Yep. So that's why sometimes when we, if we go on eBay and look at another product the same on eBay, it's not the same. Be, not be the right. Same. But but there's also a great part of this, Bob, which is you can get something that's a three or a four and be a storyteller to let somebody who's after a seven, eight, or a nine or ten go to the Collectrack website and go buy what they're looking for. But you're triggering their curiosity and driving them to the shopping cart where Dave's already got 11,000 items and growing. And how is that? Where's the items grow? Well, you just saw right. coins are going to get added, Look at right? What the wrapper that he opened was worth. Look just the wrapper. wrapper. 65 bucks. Just for this wrapper of Michael Jordan wax. See that? Mm. Come on. It's just a wrapper. People just throw a wrapper. Garbage. $116, this guy's asking for him. Jeez. 35 <laughs> 42 this one's got bids for five fifty, you know. So people are paying five dollars for for a wrapper that got thrown in the garbage. You see what I'm saying? Wow. Here, here. This one's three hundred and seventy nine for a wax box and a wrapper. So one wrapper in the box. Oh, here we go. Here's an empty case, just the cardboard box they came in. Twelve hundred and ninety five dollars for an eighty six foot empty case box and a pair of wrappers. Two of these wrappers, an empty box and a case. For $1,295. So, Dave, why is that? Young is opening these on stage. And you're going to be doing that live on podcast. Yeah, we're going to drive yeah. viewers to. So, now what I'm going to show you, Don, is what a sealed yeah, pack goes that. for. Hang on. So, sealed. Uh, let's see. PSA. Let's see what they go for. Sealed. And I'm going to go right off the top. So, let me see. 86 clear pack. Not wrapped. Forty five hundred for that one. Wow. So you open that live on stage yeah, randomly. Live on stage. Yep, yep. Here. Let me see here. I'm gonna go with highest first. Let me see. Best match. I'm gonna go with highest first. See what they say here. Okay. Forty five hundred on that one. Thirty two hundred and fifty on that one. Seven thousand four hundred and ninety nine on that one. So wax pack, Michael Jordan rookie sticker on the back. We have eighteen packs of Michael Jordan stickers on the back. Here, this one here is 5,600. Patrick Ewing on the back. And Michael Jordan, rookie with a question mark. 6,400, 4,400. Crazy. Look at, look, here we go. 175,000 for, for, for FLIR. Three, 36 PSA graded packs, near mint eights. See that? 175 grand. And we're going to be cracking these on podcasts. What about the 52 tops? Unopened. What's that worth? 52 tops on here, uh, here. Here, I'll show you. Now. That was the basketball, and I just saw it. This is the one that I opened. Here's one right here, Don. This is the Larry Bird pack. Okay, right now it's at $415 with 26 bids on it. See that? That's the pack I cracked <coughs> on stage right hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the wrapper got ripped. Yeah, but I pulled Larry Bird. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was really a, But a, you pulled the Larry Bird. That's Larry right. Bird was in, yeah. In it. Yep. yeah. But then let's see what a Gretzky pack goes for. Are these on sale uh, on the contract? Yes. And, yes. and more, more coming. And not what are prices on it, like, uh, like a pack like that on contract. Okay, so hang on. So this one here is mm -hmm. 200000 Oh, my Shoot. God. 86 NBA Wax Pack, 57 Jordan Rookie on top. So this one's got Jordan's Rookie on top, and we don't know if it's a 10 and 8 or something, but the guy's asking two hundred grand for it. But I have 480 packs of these cards. Oh, my God. <laughs> one pack. Oh, my goodness. This is great. Here, here we go. Twenty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine says two PSA flare pack Jordan rookie sticker on the back. I got eighteen of them with Jordan sticker on the back, and these are going to be open with collector. Yep. You're so generous. Wow. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna open them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the vision coming together from forty years ago to now bring it to the world, and not a lot of people could have basically put this stuff in the safe places you've done and the secure places with security and so on like that to protect it and then bring it to the world for all of us to point, click, and share for retail rewards. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. I, could, I couldn't resist. Is it, you get the, it's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it fun, Debbie? Yeah? Are you excited, Debbie? I'm so excited. You know, where, where's Jackie? All the way from Australia right here. What do you think? I am much speechless and so that doesn't happen very often so hey, guys generosity yes. is incredible wow 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 so don here's a yes. here's a psa 8 pack for 3500 dollars here's a here's a gia 8 for 2400 dollars now let's see what they go for on collect rack hang on yeah, for that pack see, like, yeah. and i just got a text from a friend i haven't even talked about this business with he goes 
you're on live TV right now on the internet, looking good. And I said, thanks, sent a picture of what we're yeah. doing. Yeah, I'm sitting here watching you and Barb. You all have a safe hmm. trip home, taking Parker deer hunting, and maybe you'll get the big one today. Wow. Let's see what I, here we go. Yeah. So we got a Gretzky pack on here, a seven five for $999. On eBay, an eight is going for $2,400. Uh, an eight, a PSA 8 is going for 3500 Collector Act, 800, 900 bucks. So, bucks. So that's the value. That's, and that's it, the question that I was having. Yeah, yeah. and so he's not yeah. trying to go to the actual price that he's seen the other ones. Yeah, he's saying, our pack. That's our pack right there. And there'll be many on there, Don. Wow. 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 So the chance of getting... sealed, authentic. Are in you that kidding case. me? So in there could be a million dollar card. Could be a million dollar card. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'll take two home rounds, please. <laughs> All right, Don. Well, thank you, and we'll, go to, we'll, 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 we'll log off, okay? Okay, buddy. This has been a lot of fun. Dave, amazing. Thanks for the vision. To see it in reality, you're you're the best. Yep, you got it. Bro. Okay, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I got to get back to Matt. Get back to work. <laughs>